Today we're going to talk about how to sign up with AWeber and ClickBank and create a seamless system for integrating both services. Please open your browser and visit http colon forward slash forward slash www.aweber.com and that's A-W-E-B-E-R dot com and click on the order tab. I'm going to scroll down until I see the payment methods. Choose your payment method. Monthly is fine. And then scroll down and fill out your account and billing information and your credit card information. And then click on the yellow I agree complete my order. Once you've completed the information, you will be sent information on how to log into your account. Please pause the video and join me once you've finished the order and have logged into your account. If you already have an AWeber account, please log in now. Welcome back. Now that you've logged in, you should see a screen similar to the one I have. My account is already in use, so I have stats on recent leads and broadcasts, but your screen should look fairly similar to the one that you see right now. We're going to go to the List Settings tab and follow the Settings sublink. Under the heading Managing Lists, you should see a tiny link to add a new list. Please click on Add New. and then click on the green Create List button. Once you click on Add New, you'll be forwarded to the List Settings page. A default name has already been selected for you. You can choose to keep that name or create your own. I recommend creating your own. I'm going to set my name as ClickBank Lang. And you'll see that it will tell you if that name is available. If it's available, continue to the shortlist description. I'm going to enter how to learn a language in 21 days. For illustration purposes, I'm going to leave the rest of the fields as the default settings, but feel free to come back and customize your list settings once you've completed the main steps in this tutorial. The only field we need to fill out at this moment is the reply address. So let's scroll down to the bottom of the page and populate that section and then click the green Add button. Now that we've confirmed that that address has been added, we'll click the green Save button. Okay, if you see the, the success message, everything has been set up correctly. We're going to leave AWeber for a moment and open Dreamweaver. And I'll show you a template for the Thank You page that will be required for ClickBank. Because we want to integrate ClickBank into our autoresponder sequence, we're going to do something a little different with our thank you page. Normally the thank you page would be your download page. We're going to ask buyers to verify their order. What we're going to do is create a page that sits between the order page and the download page. This page will thank them for their order and direct them to enter their name and email address to verify their order and proceed to the download page. And that's how we'll capture their names to add to our mailing list. So I'm just going to switch over to Dreamweaver. So this is the thank you page that I'm going to put in between the order and the download page. As you can see, we have thank you at the top of the page, and we have details on what they've ordered and how their charge will appear on their credit card. And then we have an opt-in, which is used to verify their order. 
Once they enter their contact details and click Confirm My Purchase, they'll be direct, redirected to the download page and their name will be added to your mailing list. The other element that's required on this page is your contact information. It can be a simple support email address. No need to include your mailing address. The minimum requirement is a customer service email address. So let's switch back to Aweber now and create the opt-in form. We're going to go to the Messages tab and confirm that your mailing list is still the one that we created earlier. So the mailing list that's in use is ClickBank, Clickbank Lang, which is the list that I created earlier in the video. And then click the green Add Message button. Aweber has several templates that you can use if you choose to use them. Personally, I prefer to use plain basic text messages for order confirmation emails as there is a greater chance that the message will make it through the spam filters. I'm going to enter the subject, your purchase of how to learn any language in a flash. And then I'm going to copy and paste some text that I have already created in the message body. Be sure to click the Wrap Long Lines button to format your text properly. Let's leave the HTML message blank. And now we see the option that we can analyze our message with the Spam Score Analyzer and it will return a score to let you know if your message may be caught by the spam filters. So I'm just going to click on that now. Generally, anything under three points is okay. So while we wait for the form to show up, and it's telling me that my message is well below the five point limit. So again, anything under three points generally won't be caught by the spam filters. And as you can see, this message tests well, but if there were any problem areas, it would be highlighted here in the body text. And I believe the highlight color is either yellow or red. So make any adjustments and reanalyze your text. Once your message is finished, we're going to go to the list settings tab and follow the web form link. Let's confirm that we're still working with the same list, and we are, and click on the green create web form button. Let's give the form a name. I'm going to call mine ClickBank Order Verification. And the type is set to inline because we're going to integrate this form into our web page. The thank you page will be the download page for your order. So set this page to where you want your customers to be able to download their digital files from. Leave the rest of the settings as the default and click Next. As you can see, the form is capturing only their email address right now, and we want to be able to capture their name as well. So we're going to hover over the Name field on the left and click on the green Add button. The Name field is inserted below my Email field, and I prefer to have the name field listed first. So I'm going to drag and drop it into the correct position and then click Save. To get the HTML code, click on the Get HTML link and copy the code that's listed on the page in the second box. and then head back into Dreamweaver.